Let me tell y'all something y'all probably heard a million times. You got to be protective of your circle and mindful of who's in it and who's around you. Always in everything you do, business, relationships, friendship, family, all that. You got to be real picky about it, yo. Like, and sometimes you got to understand too, you might be at fault. Like one thing that, that people fail to understand when it comes to accountability and responsibility, at the end of the day, you are what you subscribe to, right? I could tell you all day long, I'm not a, a thief. I'm not a klepto. But if I'm around a bunch of guys that steal, and if I'm stealing, I can't just say I'm not a klepto and my actions don't align with it. You feel what I'm saying? So it's like, you can't say that you're so against certain values and ideologies and, and belief systems and, and behaviors, but you allow that to fester around you for so long why 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 aren't you separating from that if you think you're different it's like yo people always talk about oh all my exes are trash yo you got 30 exes and they all trash you must be oscar the grouch trash think about it yo keep it a buck with yourself if all your exes are trash What's the common denominator out of all them guys that, I mean, all them women that you've been with, all them guys you've been with, whatever. What's the common denominator? You. Look in the mirror, yo. And the thing is, what you also got to understand is like everybody's the villain in somebody's story. So I like I don't I don't like when people try to act as if Everybody they dealt with was so bad. They and they were so perfect. My toxic trait is I love too hard. I'm too loyal. I'm too forgiving. Shut up. No, you're not. Shut up. Your toxic trait is your narcissistic as shit. You can't look in the mirror and you have no self-awareness. Cause somebody, you the villain in somebody's story too. Understand that. You are the villain in somebody's story. So don't ever get it twisted like, oh, these people that and nine times out of 10, the trash people you complain about is the exact people who you let so far into your life, so deep into your psyche, your, your space and your time. You allow them. Half the time, y'all beg for them back. Keep it a bean. Protect your circle, yo. If it's toxic, get away from it. Like, I, I, I can't stress that enough, yo. It's like... If you want to make a change in your life, right? If you don't, if you're not, if you don't want to be in a club every Friday, but all your friends want to be in a club every Friday, but you want to do something different with your weekends, it's cool. I'm not saying you you can't be cool with them no more. Or don't be friends with them, but you understand y'all going different ways, right? So if you're trying to go a different way, what would you surround yourself with? Just logic, basic logic. You're gonna surround yourself with people going that way, or people who already had are way far that way, you know. All my friends, we, we might be in a different things as far as industries. Of course, I'm a musician, right? A writer, a poet, a whatever, a future author, self-published, coming soon. Um, all of that, right? I'm a creative. Now, I got friends in all types of industries. Lawyers, doctors, businessmen, whatever you want to call it, right? All types of industries. The main thing that come, that, that connects all of us is the, is the up here, the conversations we have. They're not vapid conversations. Yeah, we talk about the hoes and talk about a bunch of, you know, everybody, you have your your guy talk, your locker room talk, whatever. The majority of our conversations is we're, we're aligning ourselves for where do we want to be, yo? And if we are trying to get there, who do we have to surround ourselves with? And if one of us in this group is, is not holding up his end of the bargain, he ain't going to push the envelope. He ain't going to be on this self-love journey, this, this self-belief journey. He's not going to... Go there to be the best man he could be for his family and, and to establish his legacy. If he ain't willing to do all that, it ain't no love laws, bro. I just can't have you close to me. I can't. I need to have friend. All my guys is guys that's willing to go there to get what they want, what they desire, and what they deserve. And what their family deserves of them. They try to make a dent in the universe every day. That's the type of guys I surround myself with. It don't matter what field you in. You could be a baker for all I care. You could be the postman. But you got to want to be the best postman in the world. I don't think small. I don't deal with people who think small. So it's like, yo, if you're a big thinker and the people around you tend to be small-minded or a hometown um, mindset to where they can't even see past the concrete that they grew up on, right? 
you don't have to love them any less, but you might have to love them from a distance, love them from afar, because what you even what you see that's possible, they don't even know it exists. It's not even that they don't believe in you. It's like they don't know what to believe in because they don't know that there's anything to believe in. They have no idea. Get yourself around people who believe in what you believe in, not religion. I'm talking about the way you go about life. Who's on that same type of time as you? Watch how your, you know I mean, your energy, all that change. Watch. Be mindful who's in your circle, who you surround yourself with. And be very careful, man, who takes up your time and your energy and your space. Because it's precious. And you don't get that back. That's all I got for y'all, man.